In this video, I'm going to dive deep and walk you through the steps on how you can create and sell digital products online. From coming up with that very idea to creating your product to which platforms to use and a host of other ways on how you can get your product up and running to then promoting your product so you can obviously make sales. So let's get to it. All right, so the very first thing you're going to want to do is come up with an idea for your digital product. And that's where it all begins. You can't just expect to sell anything without having a plan of action in terms of what digital product you'll be selling. The very first thing you can do is take a look at your existing audience, your content. What are people asking? What frustrations and issues and challenges are your audience currently having? On a surface level, if you go back, take a look at your most popular pieces of content, whether that's on YouTube, Instagram, or wherever, it will give you an indication. In this case, we've got eight mind-blowing websites you probably didn't know existed. You could dive deep into one of the eight websites or whatever your content is about. And that could be the very topic, the very course or ebook that you create a product around. Take a look at your Instagram account. I'm on the browser version of Instagram. If you hover over each of your posts, you can see how many people have liked it. In this case, this piece of content did exceptionally well, at least for my account. And I could very well create some sort of guide or ebook on these 10 tools, or it could be one of the tools that people have enjoyed or like using or interested in. But these will all give you clues as to which direction you could potentially take. What you can also do is kind of validate your idea. Ask your audience, that is, ask for feedback and ask them what they think about this idea versus this. Or in this case, I utilize YouTube's community tab where I asked them PDF or Kindle, which of the two would do you prefer or wanting to create? And there's a huge difference, 82% versus 18%. So using things like this and surveys and feedback forms is another route you can take. A simple surveying tool that you can use is called Holler. It's essentially one question surveys where you can ask one simple question. It could be anything. It's a matter of getting yourself out there, engaging with your audience, seeing what their frustrations, needs and challenges are. And then that will give you a better feel in terms of which route to take. Moving on, once you've decided on your digital product idea, the next step is to actually create your digital product. And the first thing you have to consider is what format will your digital product be in? Will it be in an ebook PDF format or will it be in an online course? Will it be in a format of templates where you're providing graphical templates and such? Ebooks in PDF format is by far the easiest kind of digital product you can sell in my opinion, because all you really need to do is create that ebook or guide once exported as a PDF file and that's all you really need to supply to your customers. So I'll show you a couple of tools that you can use to start creating your ebook. The first tool is perhaps the most popular way to create ebooks and that is by using Canva. Canva's got a range of templates to choose from. What you're seeing is an ebook template that you can customize right away. Head to your Canva account and at the search bar, simply search for A4, which is the size of a typical ebook. And from here, you'll see a range of templates. You can start with one of these. Quick tip here is to look for ones that have multiple pages and you can tell with this little page numbering tab right here in the corner. Some only have one page and that just indicates that there's just a cover page. Whereas with all these other ones, there are multiple pages. And the reason why you wanna look for multiple pages is because there's multiple layouts and formats to choose from and play around with. From here, it's a matter of editing the title, changing the images around. You can obviously enter your own content. This is one of my own digital products that I'm currently selling called 50 Digital Product Ideas. It's a basic template, nothing fancy. I've just added images examples and it's in this kind of listicle format where we've got 50 digital product ideas. When coming up with a title for your ebook, you can go a number of ways. You can explain what it is straight on the title like this one, 50 digital product ideas and in this example too, where it says how to grow your brand on social media. You can also take inspiration from Amazon books and these have obviously been proven to sell because they are so popular. You can take a look at the best sellers seeing how they have titled their books. The thing with your title is you don't need to make it wordy or lengthy. Take for instance, this one by Alex Hermosi, where we've got $100 million leads and he just explains more and describes more about what this book is in his actual subtitle, how to get strangers to want to buy your stuff.
stuff. In this day and age, you can also use ChatGPT using the AI to assist you in coming up with that title and also subtitle. From my experience, the best kind of ebook or guide you can create is one that focuses on a specific need, a specific frustration that you can solve. It's better doing that and going niche as opposed to trying to solve a huge problem which can then be hard when it comes time to market your product because you're trying to solve everything when in reality you're probably not going to solve anything. But back to creating your digital product, go ahead create your digital product. It may take a day depending on the complexity of your idea or it could take you know a week or two or several weeks but the thing is you don't exactly know whether it's going to sell or not. So you don't want to be spending hours and hours and weeks and weeks on your product before launching. But once you're good to go in Canva, all you need to do is click on share and we are going to select download. It will select PDF by default and then all you need to do is download it. An alternate ebook creation tool that you can use is called Designer. This one works in a similar way but what you have the ability to do is import content from your blog. We've got from Google Docs. You can also import from podcasts and YouTube, but some of these options can only be used and activated based on a paid subscription. But for the most part, you can start it from scratch and import it from a Word doc. And what you'll be presented with is the editor where you can start editing your ebook. This is just a hypothetical example. You can use different elements right here. It's quite advanced specifically for ebooks in my opinion. And if you do want to uh, get your hands on designer look in the description box below it is a paid tool however if you use the link in the description box below it will take you to a lifetime plan where you only pay 27 dollars one time and then you get access to their product not all the abilities and features of designer but you do get the basics once you've created your product, it's time to put your digital product somewhere so people can see what you have to sell. There are a couple of routes that you can take here. The first being platforms where you can simply upload your file and then they'll host your product for you and you're able to sell it from their platform. The first being Lemon Squeezy, and this is one of the ones that provides uh, solutions for digital product creators. For every sale that you make, you will get charged 5% and a 50% uh, transaction fee. If you're interested in using Lemon Squeezy, I do have a step-by-step -step tutorial on using it, so link will be in the description box. We've got another one that's similar called Gumroad, which you may have heard of. However, they do charge 10% plus the transaction fee that PayPal or Stripe charges. So you're looking at about 12%, 13% per transaction. So it does add up, especially if you're going to sell a large volume. And finally, we've got another platform where you can house your digital product. This one's called PayHip. They do charge 5% as well. In addition to that, you will get charged the PayPal slash Stripe fee, somewhere around 8% or so that you're gonna get charged. Whereas with Lemon Squeezy, it's only 5% plus 50 cents. All three platforms do have similar features where you can start selling your digital products. You can have a store. So take a look at each of those. I will link up some tutorials down below as well, comparing the three. With that being said, the issue with relying on these platforms is that you don't really own the platform. You don't have that flexibility to control the way that you want your product to be displayed. You're fixed to their updates. And if they decide one day that you no longer can use their platform, then there goes your business. What I do recommend is to have your own website that you have complete control over. This way, you're not putting all your eggs in one basket. You can make changes to it. You can make it look the way you want because you have access to the backend system. The web host that I recommend therefore is called Hostinger. If you look in the description box below, there will be a link to Hostinger and you'll land on this page where you've got AI Website Builder and that's what I'm going to discuss in this segment of the video. Pricing and plans, it is a paid thing because you're getting web hosting. But with a web host, like I said, you own your website. To get started, all you need to do is buy one of the plans and the one that I recommend is at least a 12 month plan where you'll be getting a discount. However, if you do go with a 24 month or 48 months plan, you will get even further discount. But let's say you're going to go with the 24 months plan. You click that and then down below where it says have a coupon code, click that and enter coupon code Aurelius to get a further discount on top of the already heavily discounted pricing. Once done, you'll see a page like this where you can start building your website and don't get intimidated 
by building because it's really simple to use and I'll show you how to use the AI website builder. Select create a new website. We're going to go with hosting as website builder with AI. And by the way, hosting it does provide its AI website builder on mobile phones too. So now there's no excuse not to start a website. All right, we'll go ahead and create our website and click on claim a free domain name. If we refer back to the pricing and plans page, you can see that you get a free domain name on top of the unlimited bandwidth, free SSL, which is just going to make your website more secure. And you can host up to 100 websites. So if you've got one idea for a website, you can host another 99 websites. And not to mention, you will be able to have that e-commerce ability so you can start selling your digital products. So e-commerce features, there's zero transaction fees too, and some AI tools that you can use. All right, we'll go ahead and claim our free domain name. I'm going to search for Aurelis Digital Store for this tutorial and choose .com and click on search. If it's available, then it will show domain is available. Otherwise, keep searching for an appropriate domain name. You can change the actual extension to something else, but a .com is the most popular. All right, so I'll go ahead and continue. You'll then be presented with this form that says, tell us about your website. All you need to do is just fill in the details and the more descriptive you are, the better for the AI. You will get a better result for your website. In this case, I'm just calling the website Aurelius Tijin and we are going to choose a website type, an online store, blog, business showcase, portfolio or other. Next, enter a description. The more descriptive, as I said, the better. In this case, I've just put in a website where I'm selling eBooks and guides on the topic of productivity. And more on top of that, the indicator does say great description. And if you do put in less, then you'll see it says good effort, almost a great description. So again, the more, the better. And during the process, you can see what it's doing. It's looking and picking the right colors. It's choosing the content, experimenting with font styles, designing a layout and more. So this way, you don't have to start a website from scratch thinking about how to lay out your website, which templates to use. Hosting as AI website builder will do it for you. In less than a minute, AI has built my website. First of all, at the top, we've got the header with my brand name. We've got the navigation links right here, including e-commerce integration. We've got a heading on the hero image here. We've got simplified digital tech and unlock your creativity for ultimate productivity. So I did come up with the actual content the slogan. Looking down below, we've got I'm a realist Chijin here to help you get unstuck and be more productive with my ebooks and guides. Got a couple of feature images here, our services. We've got some more images and contact form as well. A few things to highlight here include the style. You can change the styling from the font pairing. We've got different font pairings. As you can see, it changes in real time. So you can see what you like. If it's something you don't like, you can change it in one click. You can also choose custom colors for the color palette or choose one that has really been defined here. So you can see fresh greens changes the footer and the buttons and the accent colors as well. I like this green here. So I'll go back up and moving on, we've got pages. This is where you can create dedicated pages for your different sections of your website. We've got a shop, a blog contact. You can also add a new one. Let's say you want to create a page called about me and there's some templates that you can start from. Otherwise you can start from a new page. In the elements section, you can add different elements to your website easily by selecting one of these. Let's say you want to add a button, you can select that and then that'll create a new element button as you can see right here. Here's another version of the website that I regenerated. You can see the headings here instead of on the left, we've got an image. So if you do want to do something like this where you can regenerate the website again, you can always go back to the AI form and then generate the website once again. Editing is super simple. If you look at each of these sections by highlighting using your mouse, you can add a section and then choosing what you want. Let's say you want to add an image gallery or you want to add uh, social icons, you can do so. I'll go ahead and click on full edit mode. And from here, it looks very similar. And it's as simple as dragging and dropping what you want and how you want to arrange things. That's what I really love about its editor. There's no code to play around with, no tech required. As you saw, just a few simple prompts that I added and then generated the website. Now, you may be asking, how do I start selling my products on my website? What I'm going to do is add an online store and then that will insert our list of products. Click on full edit mode. We can then go further and add our products. On the left, you'll see online store. Click that, we can see our 
the placeholder products. We're going to first name our store. Choose your store country and choose your currency that you'll be selling in. So I'll choose US dollars. And right here is where you can add your products. If you simply go to products, you can see the placeholder products so that you're not starting from scratch. Drag and drop your cover image of your ebook. If you go back to Canva or wherever you have created your ebook, you can get that cover, right? The front page, go to share, click on download. And instead of exporting or downloading all of the pages, all you need to do is deselect the all pages and selecting the first page. And then we are choosing PNG because we only want an image version, not a PDF version and download that. I'll just drag and drop it here. While that's uploading, I'll just change the title. So 50 digital product ideas. You can add a subtitle, add a ribbon such as new or brand new. Enter a description for your product. Use the AI assistant as well to describe your product and then let AI write your product description for you. Set your price of the product. You can also put the discounted price and a few other options, but uh, in most cases, this will be all you really need to do. Make sure to also go to store settings to add your own payment details so you can start receiving payments. You can customize the checkout area here, but going to payments, you can see you can integrate and connect your PayPal account, Stripe account, also manual payments. You can manage taxes right here as well. So if you're going to be collecting taxes, this is what you are going to want to do. But let's go back and edit our website and you'll see the product updated. Scroll down and here it is. If they click that, that'll take them to the page with the description. They can add to bag and check out and you will make the sale. We've got other features that you can play around with. We can add more pages, edit the pages, delete them, do things like changing the website styles, getting specific to a color, changing the palette that way. Also the different text types and buttons, animations too. To add a blog for your articles, you can go to blog and adding all your articles here. A few AI tools that you can play around with include the AI logo maker, we've got an AI writer and also a heat mapping tool for analytical purposes. So you can dive deep into, you know, what people are doing on your website. Like are they hovering over certain buttons? Are they clicking on certain things and then adjusting and tweaking your website that way. And once you've gathered enough data, you can go to analytics and it'll show right here. Once you're ready to publish your website so the world can see and you can obviously start making sales, click on go live and there you have it. You've got your website ready to go where you can start selling your product. And speaking of selling, the next step is to promote and market. The first thing you can do is to edit your social media bios and links that will then direct to your website and your products. In my case, I am linking right here. That'll then take them to my website where I'm selling my master YouTube content planner as well as my 50 digital product ideas. They can purchase directly on this webpage and add to cart. But the important thing is to edit your socials so that the link directs to your product or your website. Another example is if you're going to be posting on YouTube YouTube in the description of every single one of your videos have that link. So you can see here, I've got a call to action to start with Hostinger as well as down below, we've got uh, tools I use and the gear and shop my products. So these are all opportunities. These are where eyeballs will be set. So you wanna utilize this precious real estate. In addition on YouTube, you can place a comment and put a call to action to sign up for certain things. So in this case, it will be your digital product to get them to buy it. And you can also pin it as I know, just because you've created your product, you've got a website, it doesn't mean that people will just magically find you. You have to go out there and start marketing your product, whether that's through socials and creating your content or paid advertising, get more exposure to those areas, those places that you want people to go to. So on Instagram, obviously you wanna start creating content, putting calls to action where you can in the description, in the captions of your videos. You could also verbally promote your product and suggest it as a solution to a problem. If you're creating a YouTube video, for instance, and you mentioned that you don't have any sponsors, but this video is being supported by my own product and it's something that you can purchase to support this channel, something like that, right? And you can verbally and visually, of course, promote your product. In terms of actual platforms where you can feature your product, uh, you can take a look at Gumroad. Gumroad's got their discover page. You need to have made a certain amount of sales and have a good track record. But this is what Gumroad discover looks like, different categories. Another place you may want to take a look at is Etsy. And this is a place predominantly where they sell templates and things to like printables. So it's not really a platform to sell your eBooks on. Either way, you still need to go out there and promote your product. And the more exposure you get, 
obviously the more sales you will make. And one of the most simplest and best pieces of advice I can give you, as obvious as it may sound, is to make sure to provide value to your audience. If they like you, they'll trust you, they can see that you're obviously helping them, they will support you and buy your product. And not just because they wanna support you, but obviously they want to also solve their own problems. So go ahead, start creating content to build your personal brand. If that's the route you'll be taking, post consistently. If you are going to be posting on YouTube, I do have my master YouTube content planner that you can purchase. And this is the very system that I use and follow to stay consistent posting on a weekly schedule. Link to that will be in the description box below. You can see what I did. I am kind of promoting my own products. To wrap it all up, you've learned how to come up with an idea for your digital product. You've decided on a format for your digital product. You've created your digital product. You've selected a platform, whether that's through using a third party tool such as Gumroad or Payhip, or you've gone the full web hosting route. Next, you've learned to promote your digital product. And after that, it all just comes down to you. You taking action and getting your product out there so you can start making sales. But I hope I've given you a system and the steps to follow so that you can start creating and selling digital products online. If you found it helpful, by all means, give this video a thumbs up and I'll leave up a couple of relevant videos for you to watch next related to digital products. Thanks so much and do take care.